Oh, I moved my ladder. Where's this gonna land? Right here? <laughs> boasting. All that boasting about having a good eye now is gonna come home to roost right now, isn't it? Here we go. Nope, oh, clamp. Not such a good eye after all. All right, so we can pull our, pull our two by fours now. We don't need those anymore. The die is cast. I'll leave all that rigging where it's at because I'll need to re reuse it. But let's take this into the wood shop and then cut that notch out. All right. So what we want to do is we want to let that that knee brace we want to that to let that in here. In other words, it's going to make a little groove for it to sit in. One, it'll look really nice, be a really nice detail, uh, and it'll um, give it some strength. Of course, we'll put a nice big heavy three quarters lag bolt through there, uh, tie it all together. But this will will definitely help. So we need to determine this angle here, which is 45 degrees. Let's double, double check this. And we're going to need to transfer this to the other side. Looks good. Uh, so we can cut this out. So here's the detail that I want. Uh, I came in one inch here and a half inch here, and then that uh, that knee brace will come in here and sit in there, and that'll be a, a nice looking joint. It's a little ambitious for me here, but uh, we'll do our best. So I need to saw these out, chisel them all out, and then we'll put it back up, and then uh, do the finish our layout. <laughs> So I just finished reinstalling everything and I'll take it apart one more time uh, to make the final cut. And hopefully this will be for the last time. Being this knee brace, uh, this angle is such a critical cut. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a, a knife wall on here to ensure to give myself every chance of success. All right, here we go. The big important cut.
whole day's work comes down to this one cut. Once again, into the fray, dear friends. Here we go. What's the chance of this thing fitting nicely up there, guys? What do you think? I'm a little nervous about it. There's got to be a better way to do this. It's just that I, uh, I don't know how, how that would have been. It just, uh, I thought about it. You know, I, I really haven't spent that much time building the last 48 hours, most of the time it's just been thinking. Walking around, looking and thinking and considering and creating, and that takes the time. Once you make your, finally make your mind up, it doesn't really take that long. You just jump in and do it, but uh, it's the, the design phase is the, it's what takes so hard because there's just, there's so many ways you could go. It's like coming to a, it's not like coming to a fork in a road, but coming to a, place where there's a hundred forks scratching your head. Which way should I go with it? How should we do it? There's just so many variables. All right, let's put a rope on there and see how it goes. All right, up we go. So that's it for the knee brace. I think everything worked out really good. You know, not, not perfect, but uh, a lot of lessons learned. But overall, I'm happy with it. It's gonna be really strong, flexible. Nice detail up there that came together. Nice, it's gonna open up a little bit as the wood dries, but uh, that's all right. No reason not to do it the best you can. That uh, 12 inch lag in there goes way up into the the structural member so that should be strong we've got our uh, floating bracket there i still got to put the loop on there but uh, that's it for today but it looks great side and the back so that is the hard part Believe it or not, the rest of it's pretty straightforward, apart from I don't know what I'm going to build. But uh, I kind of like to figure it out as I go. Looks nice, though. Looks really nice. Turned out good, good and strong. Uh, I'll break it down a little bit with coconut milk and I'll put a cap full of Bragg's cider.